I am Dr. Neema Bisht, BDS by degree and a pharma professional. I am founder of Career in Pharma, wherein I provide guidance and training to healthcare professionals and life science graduates on how they can make career into pharmaceutical industry. Till date, we have guided and trained more than 500 students and many of them are now placed into various companies also under my guidance. Also, I want to tell you that beware of fake people who are operating under the name of Career in Pharma or by my name. So to connect with us, please see the description below for all the links and also you can see the mail ID provided in the description box. Hello everyone, once again I welcome you all to Career in Pharma. So today in this video, I'm going to tell you which vertical of clinical research or pharma industry is the best. So this is the most common confusion any fresher is having nowadays. And I get a lot many queries, mails on the same. So I'm going to clarify today in this video to all of you. Now before beginning this video, one suggestion I have to all fresher is just get inside whatever you are getting at a fresher level. So there are two reasons for this thing which I'm telling you. First of all, at a fresher level, there is a cutthroat competition everywhere, whatever field it is. So considering that, get inside whatever you are getting. Second thing is, once you get inside, you get exposure to other areas also and you understand the field better. Before coming to this field, definitely there will be a confusion. But once you are in, you learn all the process and you get better understanding and then you are in a state of deciding which uh, profile, which uh, vertical to continue with for your future growth. And accordingly, you can add skills to your resume and just you can grow in your job. Okay, because at a fresher level, it is really very early to decide which vertical to choose so just get inside whatever you are getting okay this is something personal suggestion okay and depending on you can just wait for any specific vertical as well for opening or you can just get inside okay this is this is something which i'm telling you through my personal experience yeah now i will tell you what are the different verticals and who all are eligible for any specific thing okay so first of all the whole process of pharma industry starts from drug development and till the stage of selling the drug and marketing the drug in between there are many phases so first of all inside drug development when the pharma company has still not developed the molecule which can be the future drug that is the drug development phase discovery of the molecule so during that period uh, any people who, who can work inside laboratories with test tubes with animals so these people can be phd or any any life science graduate with any specialization so for them it is best suited dr drug discovery phase other comes when the drug development process is finished then the company want to do clinical trial on that drug molecule which can be the future drug inside hospitals so during clinical trial phases, all the eligibility wise, all life science graduate and healthcare professionals are eligible. But for this clinical trial phases, where you have to more, you have to do more work on documentation. So not so much of pharma knowledge is required. That's why people with life science graduate degree are also eligible and are like best suited for clinical trial job. It can be clinical research coordinator, clinical trial coordinator, clinical research associate, okay? Doesn't mean healthcare professionals or pharmacy graduates, they can't apply, they can apply, but yeah, like life science graduates are like best choice. Now, once the drug is in development phase, I mean clinical trial phase, then also uh, people with uh, knowledge on drug regulations are also required because company needs to get approval uh, through drug regulatory bodies in different stages. So for that purpose, people who are having good knowledge on drug regulations, regulatory bodies are like best suited and among this pharma pharmacy graduates are like best suited for any best suited for any drug regulatory uh, positions. 
it doesn't mean healthcare professionals are not eligible but then you can apply and just explore otherwise eligibility wise pharma professionals are best suited now other stages when the drug is in clinical trial phases and completed all the clinical trial phases and when the stage of drug manufacturing production comes that is the phase where microbiologists are required for qc qa and also pharmacy graduates are also required for you know production phases okay in this production phases manufacturing phases healthcare professionals are not required so basically they are not eligible for this phase now when the uh, manufacturing and production is over then the drug comes to market that is the post marketing phase that we call as pharmacovigilance also now during pharmacovigilance during post marketing surveillance people who have good knowledge on medicine medical concepts and pharmacology they are like best suited and this is the phase where most of the pharmacy graduates and healthcare professionals which include dentist ayurveda graduates mbbs and unani graduates alternate medicine graduates nursing graduates they are like best suited because these people have a good knowledge on medical concepts medicine journal surgery pharmacology so these are the people best suited for pharmacovigilance and post marketing phases yeah now during post marketing phases and marketing phases people who are mba along with healthcare professional degree are also best suited because of uh, because company needs brand promotions as well during marketing phases so if you are a healthcare professional with mba you can try your luck you can try in marketing phases and brand promotions where company hires healthcare professionals for their brand promotions also yeah Uh, so, if you are B Pharm MBA or any healthcare professional degree with MBA, then definitely you should go for this brand promotion and marketing phases also. So, these are the different verticals, starting from drug development till the phase of selling and marketing and promotion of the drug once the drug is in market. So, I hope I was able to clarify your doubts on which vertical is best. Okay. Other very important point is. always apply as per your degree also not just randomly apply for example if you are a healthcare professional then i would suggest you should not be applying in regulatory affairs which is like very specific for pharmacy graduates you are eligible but if you apply then definitely chances are very less that your resume will be shortlisted okay so as per your degree you should be applying for the verticals of different verticals of clinical research and pharma industry and in short whatever your degree is just apply explore and don't just restrict yourself to any specific vertical and one more vertical is medical writing so for medical writing company usually prefers post graduates in this they prefer healthcare professionals also and pharmacy graduate also yeah so for medical writing life science graduates are not very best suited healthcare professionals and pharmacy graduates are like good best suited uh, i hope this video will help you in deciding the verticals and accordingly you can apply and proceed with your further job hunt process yeah and if you like this video please 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 share with your friends and subscribe to our channel and we'll be coming soon with some fresh next video till the time i come again i uh, suggest you to explore other areas options for healthcare professionals specifically non clinical options should you be exploring okay so till the time i come again till that time have a nice day and stay safe healthy and aware and keep exploring new options thank you all have a nice day and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you bye bye Oh, oh, oh.